We are Asa Robotics, the robotics chapter of RV College of Engineering, India. We present to you Dharani, our rover for URC 2019. We are a team of 40 students passionately working towards building the next Mars rover. We are dedicated to addressing the shortcomings of our previous attempt at URC and meeting the new competition requirements. We have been working on our rover the past year, performing research, designing the systems, fabricating the chassis and testing the individual subsystems as well as the integrated system. We have structured our team into five subsystems namely mechanical design power systems science team communication and software and administration After considering various geometries we concluded that the HM with camber link was best suited for the rigorous condition of URC also the camber link helps in withstanding any lateral loads acting on the wheels the design was fabricated using 6000 series aluminum to significantly reduce the weight since the center of gravity of the vehicle is closer to the front wheels a stiffer spring is used in front as compared to the rear a compact and light 5 degree of freedom robotic arm has been employed to meet the requirements of the competition for the task of lifting and carrying objects a custom built four prong gripper has been used we have extensively tested the robotic arm to meet the intricacies of the equipment servicing task we are using planetary gear motors operating at high torque which is well adapted to the undulating terrain in order for the rover to meet the demands of the extreme retrieval and delivery task we have tested its performance in condition similar to that of the mdrs the planetary gear motors are driven by viper 35 ampere motor drivers micro stepper drivers control the motors used to rotate the antennas as well as the base and the rest of the arm relays have been used for controlling the actuators The rover is powered using a pair of 6S lithium polymer batteries. The voltage, current and temperature of the battery system is continuously monitored and sent to the base station in real time. We have integrated a kill switch in the rover and base station to cut off power completely in case of an emergency. As specified in the science mission this year, we are focused on finding extinct and extant life and also performing the tests completely on board the rover. We perform basic tests like temperature and humidity using sensor SHT10 and soil color test based on the Munsell color chart. We perform a CO2 test on the soil sample collected to measure the change in CO2 concentration which can indicate the presence of aerobic life. The pH and NPK tests help us identify suitable conditions for sustaining life. This in conjunction with the cyanobacteria tests we are looking into can help us draw conclusion about extinct and extant life. We have designed a compact system which will fit on board the rover. This system will drill into the ground, retrieve soil and prepare a soil solution which will be used for performing the aforementioned test. We will be analyzing composition of rocks using image processing. We are using omnidirectional and directional antennas operating at 2.4 GHz. The directional antennas are used for video streams while the omnidirectional setup is used for reliable control and telemetry including some non-LOS condition. An antenna tracker is being tested for automatically rotating the directional antenna as the rover moves. We have used ROS to implement reliable and simple communication between the nodes using a publisher subscriber architecture. A live video stream and telemetry is continuously relayed to the base station. The sensors mounted on the rover determine its current GPS position and the course of the rover is updated accordingly to steer it towards the destination using the Haversine formula. From the 3D point cloud extracted from the Kinet V2 RGBD sensor, any large obstacle is detected and consequently circumvented. We use computer vision techniques implemented with OpenCV to detect the tennis ball markers of the task. The depth map can be used for performing simultaneous localization and mapping in order to meet the requirements of the autonomous terrain traversal task. UASI has brought together a team of enthusiastic and committed students who oversee different aspects of this challenge. Our strength lies in recruiting people best suited for a subtask as well as meticulous planning throughout all the stages of system development and allocation of finances inclusive of our prospective trip to Utah. See you at MDRS.